Welcome to a new video in my home automation channel and today I'm going to show you a very interesting product. Uh, to be honest, I never thought that this product would exist. And as you can see, this is a card for a desktop PC and uh, it uses the PCI Express connector. And what it basically gives you, it gives you remote control for that PC. There are some connectors up here, which is uh, going to provide pass-through for your reset button and the power button. So you will still be able to operate your PC using the, uh, turning it on and off using the power button. But then this card can also provide, uh, you know, power on and power off signal or send power off signal to the PC. And also you can do the same with the reset line as well. This card uses the PCI Express slot to take power. And then it's going to use these antenna to connect to your Wi-Fi net network, completely separate from your computer. And this is how it's going to connect to the TUI app. And within that Tuya app on your mobile, you would be able to turn your PC on and off and also, uh, you know, reset it if you need to. And of course, uh, most modern, I mean, like for the last 10 years, uh, PCs, they are actually on standby when you power them off. So this device would obviously receive power even when the desktop is turned off. So you would be able to turn it on. There are actually a couple of functions of this device. As I said, you can remotely reset and power on the device so you know basically press the power and the reset button so you can turn it on turn it off as well uh, the reason it has two antennas because there is also an rf button provided so for example if the uh, uh, desktop is placed in a way where it is uh, difficult to reach you can also use this rf button to power it on or power it off so basically just like uh, you know pressing the button on the on the case so this is the second antenna for you can also switch in the app to ignore the physical buttons. So that can act as a child lock. So you can turn that off and uh, somebody accidentally pushing the reset button or the power button is not going to power off your PC. And there is another very handy feature. This device uh, would obviously use the power on for your PC. So if the power goes off and once the power comes back on, it will detect that the power has come on because this will start connecting to the network as well. And it can automatically start powering on your PC. So if your PC goes off uh, because of the power outage, it would be able to switch it back for you. And of course, because it's a Tuya app and it sort of works like a Tuya switch, you would have options for, you know, schedules. So you can turn your PC on and off using some schedules. I wanted to show you the listing as well, because there are a few different variants available from this product and they all do the pretty much the same thing with a few differences. So first of all, there are four different bundles. So there, there is a small board. Uh, as you can see here and from that small board there is actually two version available so you can choose whether you uh, use the EV link um, ecosystem so all the son of stuff so you want this device to work in EV link as well or you want the Tuya version so this is the mini Tuya version so they have the same connectors for you know the power and the reset line and uh, they just look you know physically different this Tuya version is, is so small that it doesn't even have the uh, the end um, um, plate probably the only thing um, worth to be aware of is that this has all the uh, antenna inside so if you have a full metal case that might shield the wi-fi signal so i'm guessing this is the reason why uh, you know my bigger model has the external antenna and now we come to the pro model uh, which is only available for the tuya and that also comes with two different uh, versions so they all come with the same accessories. The only difference is the uh, the end plate. So there is a shorter end plate for you know short SIM cases, and there is a bigger one which I have. And you can see the prices here. And well, there is some shipping to Hungary. Probably there are similar shipping to Europe or the US. And if I go through the uh, product description, I mean, pretty much what I have already explained is here. So you, you can see the different functions, you know, well, I haven't mentioned voice control, but, you know, with either EVLing or Tuya, you have uh, support for the uh, most uh, common voice assistants. And as I said, you have the timer, uh, the reset and the power functions, the child lock, the RF control, and this relay status, which can automatically power on your computer once, uh, the power comes back after a power failure and um, well the rest is just like you know marketing pictures what i already mentioned that this card uses the pci express slot 
So you have to have a motherboard which has the PCI. So the short PCI Express connectors, not the long PCI, you know, not the regular PCI connectors. But I think even, you know, like 10 or probably 15 year old vintage computers would have these connectors uh, anyway. And here you can see the differences between the, you know, the mini and the pro version and between uh, EVLink and Tuya. So you can decide which features you need and then you can choose the bundle accordingly. And of course, I haven't mentioned in the beginning, but uh, this product was uh, supplied to me by Vatten Smart Home Store. So the link that you find in the video description will take you to their store on AliExpress. Let me do the unboxing of this product so you can see what arrives in the post. Uh, obviously, that was very well packaged. Uh, there was this separate airfield uh, packaging material and then the usual you know, Chinese brown uh, plastic bag packaging. So it was well packaged for international shipping. And within the whole thing, you are getting this anti-static bag. And in the bag, you have the, the PCI Express card and then the button. And you also get a few things. So this is the PCI Express card and um, everything is assembled. So basically you just have to, you know, put it in, into the one of the existing PCI Express slot. And of course the, um, you know, the major part of the assembly is going to be, you know, finding your power button and the reset button and using these connectors as a, um, as a pass through. And I'm going to show you how you, how you do that. And so that's the card itself. Uh, there is nothing else required. There is no battery or anything on the card. So there's nothing on the, on the other side. And here we just have a big, you know, can with the electronics under it. And we also have a button. So maybe this is, you know, to get into pairing mode initially when you set it up for the first time. And in a separate bag, we get this RF button. And this RF button comes with a few accessories as well. I mean, not a lot of accessories. So you get a button itself and the battery is already inserted and there is also like um, double-sided sticky tape so you can just uh, you know put it everywhere or just leave it on your desk. You also get a single mounting screw which is uh, for the this end slot but you know when you remove the blank that comes with a screw anyway so that is probably not required and this is everything which is included in the package. I'm going to use my dad's old computer to do this the demo and uh, this is probably like a 10 year old computer with some Pentium processor and some you know generic video card. To be honest I don't remember the spec of this machine but uh, yeah it doesn't really matter. As you can see it has one PCI Express slot so I can use it to uh, insert this card into. And um, actually now the first thing is, before even we install the card, is we need to find the reset and the power button. And I mean, there is no better way of uh, finding this than, you know, look for the uh, reset and the power button and start tracing the, the wires from the, uh, I mean, most probably it's going to be on the front panel. So you just have to look and I think for me, there are a couple of wires here and they all lead to that part of the motherboard so it is going to be very difficult for me to film this where you will be see the details but i don't think it really matters because uh, you most probably are going to have a different motherboard and it's going to have all the reset and the power lines in a different place and it's usually labeled so if you can't really find it then you just have to dig the user manual or even you know find the user manual for your motherboard online Okay, so I managed to locate my power switch and it actually says power switch on it. So now what I need to do is, uh, this is a female connector. So this needs to go into the male connector, which says power switch. And then the female connector, which says power switch, it needs to go down to the same place where I unplug this from. And I remember that, uh, you know, my original plug was oriented this way. So I, you know, with the... Um, with a power switch written on this side so i'm going to plug this one the same way in so that's going to have the same polarity as the original switch and now i have the same with the reset switch so i found the reset switch so that's going to plug into the reset switch like this and then the other uh, you know female connector is going to go where i have unplugged this uh, to be honest i i i'm not sure if this is universal but maybe you know green and black is power and uh, white and black is reset so maybe look for these uh, colored wires so with the wires and everything is connected i think the only thing which is left now is to install the card into the pci express slot and um, i just need to thread these antennas through the hole and then 
and then making sure that the wires are not pinched and making sure that both the antennas go through the hole and, and I should be able to install this. I think probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these antennas for the time being because it's going to be easier to get them through the, um, the slot there. So here we go. Um, having said that, I should have probably remembered which goes which because one is 2.4 gigahertz and the other is uh, 433 megahertz. So now it is installed in the PCI Express slot. So I just take my screw and I'm going to secure it up here. And it looks like it's not the same thread or pitch screw. So I can't really tighten it all the way in. And now I'm just going to install the uh, antennas back on the port. And if everything is working, it's fine. And if I switch the antennas and I'm not able to, you know, connect it to the Wi-Fi, then probably I'm just going to swap them around. And with this, the installation is complete. So the card is inserted. I have the two wires, which is coming from my reset and the power switch connected to the male connectors and the other female connectors are connected to the uh, motherboard where the original wires have gone and probably the only thing which is left to do is make sure that these you know wires because there are some exposed metal on the other side are not touching with anything else maybe if you finalize the design you can just uh, put some uh, tape on these or just make sure that they are rooted in a place where they are not going to touch anything metal okay so i hooked up a screen and also a keyboard to this computer just to make sure that it is happy once it turns on and I've also connected the power uh, to the desktop. And of course, I do have a physical button on the power supply and that button needs to be turned on in order for the motherboard to be in standby mode. So I'm just going to turn on that switch and I'm not sure if it's going to be visible on the screen, but there is a blue LED and it is flashing on this card, which means that it is most probably, you know, powering up and it is ready to be paired. So in the two app, I'm just going to click on plus to add a new device. And uh, now we can see that, uh, you know, there is a discovering, discovery phase. So it is discovering new devices, which is a laptop. So I'm just going to add that. And this functionality is working because uh, this unit has a built-in Bluetooth as well. So it can directly communicate to my phone, uh, telling it that, uh, uh, you know, there is a new device nearby. So I'm just going to click next. I'm going to put it into the study. And if we just wait, you know, we have a new device. So we have a few uh, different options here. You can see that I can click on this main screen and that is going to turn off the computer. So that's going to act like the, the power button or I can use the switch one here. So I'm just going to demonstrate for you how it works. So I'm going to click on this screen icon and then the computer turns on. And I hope that uh, the built-in video card has an HDMI out. So hopefully that's going to detect the, oh yeah, it detects the screen and you know, it is booting into Windows. And I don't think I'm going to wait for that because this is a pretty old computer and it usually takes, uh, you know, hours to boot into Windows. So probably I'm going to just skip that. So the Windows is booting up now and it's still working very hard to you know, get up and running. As I said, this is like a really old Windows 7, which, I, which we haven't used for, I don't know, probably more than a year. And I can actually see that it is um, telling me that they, it is trying to install some new hardware um, devices. So I'm not sure whether that's the keyboard or the actual card which is inside, uh, installed it. So what I'm going to show you is the child lock feature. So in this screen, I can enable the child lock. We are also getting, getting a beep sound and that basically disables the power button and the reset button. So no matter if I, you know, push on the power button here on the front, or even if I press the, uh, the reset button, you also get a beep back. So that is basically getting ignored by this car. So it's just not passing through the signals. And, um, you know, according to the manufacturer, this is good if you have kids and they, you know, they actually accidentally press the power button while you are, you know, gaming and they turn off your laptop. So you can just disable that using the child lock. You also have a couple of options uh, to restart your computer if it gets really stuck. So there is this uh, DP 
uh, mode reset i don't know why they haven't given a better name for this and here you can select whether you want just the normal reset or a forced reset and as you can see it is set to nothing so if i just press on force reset or reset then it's going to send a reset signal to the computer so if it gets really really stuck you can just reset it in two different ways remotely as well and just finish off the functions we also have a timer so this is what i mentioned in the, uh, in the beginning that you know if you always want your computer to start in the morning then maybe you can start like uh you know at eight o'clock uh i want the computer to power on and then you know repeat once you know maybe only on weekdays and then you want the switch to be switched on so that basically is going to send a power signal to the computer which means that if the computer is off then it's going to turn it on but if you left the computer on obviously that's going to turn it off so it's going to send a small pulse to the computer and you can have multiple of these schedules so you know a schedule to turn it on and another schedule to turn it off and with this i think we already reached the settings so here in the settings we have this relay status so this is what i already talked about in the beginning that if you set it to on then the computer or this card will automatically turn the computer on once the power comes back in, in case of a power outage and you can also use the remote control whether you want to enable or disable the remote control and um, i just press the button on the remote control and as you can see the windows is already shutting down so this is the second way to turn the the or maybe i don't know maybe the third way to turn the uh, computer off and even though the child lock was uh, enabled the child lock basically only blocks the physical buttons on the front it's not going to influence whether the rf button is used or not and i didn't have to do anything to make this rf button work so the one which is supplied with the unit is already paired with the unit but as you can see you have an option here in the application to uh, to teach additional RF buttons uh, for this unit. So maybe if you have like a 433 megahertz key fob, you can use that as well to train with the uh, this built-in card and that would also respond to, you know, a request to turn the computers on and off. You also have the child lock options here. You have the buzzer, you, so you can uh, switch this uh, buzzer sound on and off. And also you have a little bit of history. So you can see when you know the remote was enabled and when you switch the uh, device on and off. I'm not sure whether the capital on or the uh, lowercase on means that one was the app and the other one was the physical device. So that was the settings. And you can also go here into the settings where you can change some uh, things on the device itself within the two app so you can change the icon the name and the location in the room and you can also share this device uh, as in you can share the control of your desktop to multiple users you can probably hear the uh, the computer has finally shut down you can also create groups so maybe if you have you know tens of these computers all having the same card you can just group them together and with a single push of a button you can turn on all of them at the same time and you can also install device updates or firmware updates on this card itself if there are any further updates available, which uh, there is none at the moment. And finally, maybe we can also look at what sort of automations are available with device. Maybe that's not going to be the main use for this, but uh, you can set up some automations if you need. So if I go into scenes and if I set this device as a trigger device so when the device status changes i pick the pc so you can have different events on the switch one function sorry the switch one and the second switch one so one is probably the power button and the other one is the reset button so you can do something when the power button gets pressed or the reset button gets pressed um, you can also set something if the buzzer is turned on and off or the RF uh, study function is uh, triggered or the reset is triggered from the app. Unfortunately, that's not translated from Chinese. Or if you use, uh, sorry, if you enable or disable the RF control. So maybe with this, you can set up an automation that when I turn the computer on, then if I have some smart lights nearby, maybe a desk lamp, that would automatically get turned on as well. And on the action side, I can also add this device, so run device and a PC, and then, you know, switch it on. Or, yeah, I don't think any of the other options would be 
you know really sensible to use but uh, let's say you have a motion sensor or like a door opening sensor and you open the door uh, as you arrive home immediately your laptop gets switched on i can only think about something silly like this but uh, i guess you get the idea so with this i think i reached the end of this review so this was my review of this vatan probably i should call computer remote if you are interested in this product i'm going to leave purchasing links in the video description but that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.